Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia, Spain. We are farming primarily with water, planting water. And now we're trying to get as many as possible roots in the soil. For that we need a workhorse, and this is it, a mini excavator. But the fan stopped working, and then I bought a new fan, and only to realize when I connected the old one to the car battery that it's still fine. Now I will use that second fan and install it to cool, suck out some hot air from the engine compartment. I also did not realize that the ignition light doesn't ignite anymore because uh, in full sunlight it was the same. The hour counter did not count. The night light did not work. So it looks like they all went at the same time without me recognizing it, realizing it. Then I uh, bought new fuses. I bought a new uh, relay switch and still no luck. I contacted many people. Nobody is interested to come out here. And uh, then in my desperation, I took off everything, also the weight of the, the balancing weight and uh, then I found a melted cable that comes from the battery to the coil and the other one then goes to the uh, uh, relay switch and I connected it with a simple electrical connector and it's working. Now I still have to do a better job here. I'll take it off. And then I brought a hammer to see if I can just hammer it down a little bit more. And then while I was sitting here with this naked machine, Actually, it looks like a chicken without feathers. I realized that to drain the oil from this machine is over there. In the past, I sucked it out from where I fill it. And I had all sorts of tubes, but still a lot spilled over. And now I ask myself, every time I want to change the oil, I have to do all of this. This can't be. I want to see if I can get an extension here or something, which I doubt. But uh, my creativity has no end because I am not really prepared to do all of this just to change the oil and the oil I want to change regularly especially these hot conditions so it took me three weeks to get here and uh, a skilled trained experienced person would have taken perhaps an hour but 
next time I will know I'm also cleaning the air cooling of the engine I have also ordered a an air filter I will clean all these things I will even fit this part here on top of the exhaust I was even thinking I want to extend the exhaust because I sit here in the fumes modifications my gosh what a game what a toy thank god I'm retired and I can do all of this it's also extremely stimulating to go through these processes find solutions because there's nobody to help and uh, the motto is not to give up but to keep looking at it that's why I have my chair I love sitting here hours not thinking just looking and then the answers come but it does take the courage to dismantle a lot of this machine to be able to see to observe actually that's the first rule of of being human observe well I'm learning excavator is out here under the tree because I have no other space large enough where I can do this kind of thing I have this plastic sheeting most of the time underneath the area I work should a bolt or a nut fall down uh, at least I can find it also some shade 40 degrees Celsius and then lots of hopes and dreams to carry on working to complete what we have started I still don't know why that cable melted and why it broke off if it was because of heat of the motor the engine I will relieve that excess heat with the second fan if it was a short I don't know maybe it can happen again or maybe even something I have never thought of dreamt of but time will tell now it's time to go and feed the dogs their meat meal of the day this is a flower called the elephant's ear and then it makes seeds like this I always tell them listen you don't have elephants in Spain and if you have had such a small ear come to Africa see real elephants till next time goodbye